Laurier is made up of four modular units or face rises. A two and three eighths, a five and a quarter, an eight and one eighth, and an eleven inch. The eleven inch being what is referred to as the alpha stone. It's always best to set the alpha stone first and work around it. The alpha stone should be placed about two feet apart and should never touch each other. By staggering the alpha stones, you eliminate long horizontal lines in the wall. These horizontal lines will simply die into the sides of the other alphas. Horizontal joint lengths should not be more than four to five feet with Laurier. The offset from one vertical joint to the next should be at least four inches and the tallest vertical joint in the wall should be equal to the tallest stone in the wall. In a standard body Laurier, the alpha stone will cover about 20% of the wall. The eight and one eighth will cover about 30% the five and a quarter will cover about 40% and the two and three eighths will cover the remaining 10%. Following these guidelines enables a bricklayer on the other side of the building to replicate the same patterns and distances. Our bonding guidelines are as follows. A two and three eighths and a five and a quarter will bond with an eight and one eighth. A two and three eighths and an eight and one eighth will bond with an 11 inch. Two two and three eighths will bond with a five and a quarter. And two five and a quarters will bond with an 11 inch. Laurier is a very straight edge stone which is not tumbled. It comes off the skid uncut and unfinished. As always, the heights are set the depths are set, leaving the lengths to be cut. With Laurier, it's best to standardize the cutting lengths of the larger stones and cut to size the lengths of the smallest unit. Standardizing the larger units will speed up installation because with every cut you'll end up with two usable stones. Since there are much fewer joints in a stone wall than in a brick wall, it makes the joints even more important. It's critical to fill the head joint prior to inserting the stone. Both vertical and horizontal joints should be laid with a half inch mortar. Be sure to maintain an airspace between the structure and the back of the stone. Always line up the backs of the stones, never the fronts. An easy way to do this is to keep one hand on the top of the stone, place your fingers behind, and let them act as a standardized spacer. Use the other hand to set the stone. Maintaining an airspace helps with drainage, drying, sound resistance, and thermal resistance. Once you've set the stone, cut off the excess, set your level, and move to the next stone. As always, avoid stepping or stringing together more than two to three units of the same height or creating box patterns in the wall.